out now. That was strange. Y'all missed, uh, y'all missed my singing debut. I had a whole conversation with myself about whether that was a Pink or Kelly Clarkson song. Ugh. That's weird. I don't know. Streamlabs sometimes just likes to reset my mic, I guess. It's quirky like that. <laughs> oh my god. So I pulled up Streamlabs just now, and normally I can check mark the boxes for which platforms I want to stream on, so I always check mark Twitch and YouTube. But a third one has now popped up. TikTok. Oh. <laughs> I could be a TikTok streamer. Oh my gosh. So, in addition to all of the, thank you so much for the super chat, thank you so much for the, blah, 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 blah. I could do all the stuff that Eugenia used to do too. Thanks for the lion, the galaxy, the, all that. Oh my God, y'all could hear all that shit too. Doesn't that sound exciting? <laughs> oh my gosh. Jordy doesn't like ricotta. I don't, I don't. I think it's a nasty texture and it tastes like, blech. Ugh. Hi, Luna. Hi, hard-boiled eggs. Chantal's napkin. Lori, hope your week's going well. Hey, Lori. Hi, Des. Mina. Alyssa B. Hello, Alyssa B. You and David having a good evening? I hope so. Seuss Murphy. Hi, Seuss Murphy. Dylan Proctor. Hi there. Are you related to Dr. Proctor? If so, DM me. Double tap that screen, y'all. Come on, Star Family. We need 100,000 likes. Hi, Lakaya. Hello, hello. You might get into Jeffrey's circle. Oh, shit. I could be the Eugenia replacement. <gasps> Who saw that coming? Damn. Well, I'd have to start wearing makeup. Hmm. I mean, I can put on a mean layer of chapstick. Do you think that would qualify? I don't know if I'm willing to get lip injections. I don't know. I could bring my face up to my camera really close like Barb's does. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I could qualify. Maybe they could look past the whole he doesn't do makeup thing. Maybe. Hi, Tink Fupa. Hello, Tristan. Oh no, your cramps are killing you. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh. Commit to the bit, Jordy. Jordy the blow up doll. <gasps> Wait. My lips aren't big enough to look like a blow up doll. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna regret probably making that face. I already know somebody screenshot of that. <laughs> Uh, uh, you're pretty, you'd be invited to the table. You're like really pretty. Uh, thanks. So you agree? You think you're really pretty? <laughs> oh my god. Um, what we're gonna do, what we're gonna hashtag do is catch up with Amber Lynn. She put up an episode. Apparently she failed her diet. Big shocker. Um, let's go ahead and see the why. Uh, uh, uh. Where is she? Mirror her. I made a huge mistake. Let's go to Walmart, Olive Garden, and the casino. Oh boy. We're doing it all today, y'all. So what I'm thinking we're going to do is we're going to watch the latest episode and then we're going to do some retros. I hope that's cool with y'all. Is that cool with y'all? Should we do a poll if that's not cool with anyone? Looks like we're starting off today's episode with that same Betsy Johnson dress we've seen a thousand times. But that's okay. That's okay. I wear a lot of the same t-shirts too. Did you watch Eugenia's live just now? I shouted you out. 
She went live? What, on TikTok, you mean? Why do I not get the notification? That's so annoying. Is she still live? Jeffrey's live, not her. Hi, Imogene. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Are y'all ready for this? Let's go to Walmart. That is ice cold, Jordy. What's ice cold? Oh, about me saying big surprise to her failing her diet. Well, I mean, just another brick in the wall. I'm shopping at Timu. Do you want anything? Um, I've heard that Timu sells but first coffee merch. Snipe Jeffrey Star. No. Like, when they get on that panel, all the four of them, and just talk and ex encourage people to send in gifts, like, that's so boring. What I will do, though, however, is turn on this fan. Because my computer turns this room into a furnace. As soon as I start streaming, it just pumps out so much heat. Hi, Alaris. All right. How would we like to do this? Would we just like to start the video? Do we want to talk for 10 more minutes? Get on with it. I wish she would just do Ozempic again. That's actually funny that you mentioned that because on Amber Lynn's Q&A that's up right now, she um, answered a question about Ozempic. Let me get it word for word, actually. I forget exactly what she said. Um... I th oh, someone asked, I think we need another Amber Lynn Ozempic journey. You were doing great. And Amber Lynn replied, trust me, I would if I could. Okay, so why can't she? Oh, it's too expensive, girl. Even, at, even if you pay out of pocket, you can still wing it. So I don't really know what this means. If she, is she going the whole gallbladder route? Oh, it, 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 it makes my gallbladder feel bad. I mean, for the success and the progress that you could see on Ozempic, what's a little gallbladder pain? You know what I mean? It's super expensive. I mean, you can get semaglutide from medical spas nowadays and not pay like for over the counter Ozempic. Like, over, like, out of pocket Ozempic is expensive, yes. But, like, what I'm saying is, yeah, even without insurance, I think that Amberlynn could swing it. And she's, it, like, what's $1,000 a month if it's going to save your fucking life? You know what I mean? Like, wh what are we doing here? Oh, I can't afford it. Like, what? I saw an ad the other day for semaglutide pills. Yeah. Um... Well, a lot of people, well, I think, I think Ozempic is taking over the world. Honestly, I think it's like the future of weight loss. I've been saying this for years now. So I think what they're going to do eventually is they're going to make it into a pill. So people that don't, or like people who are like afraid of needles or whatever, or people who would just rather not do it because they would have to inject themselves. They're going to have to, they're, they're going to get the option to take it as a pill. She spends that on notebooks. She spent, yeah, I mean, like, I'm just, like, at one point, she was spending $3,000 a month on takeout. So what's one third of that? And you can't convince me right now that she's not still doing takeout. She's still doing Uber Eats, DoorDash, all that stuff. All that stuff. I have to inject a med monthly. Injections are bad. Like, I know some people that are like, oh, needles, needles, oh, needles. Like, really? Like, are, are you four? Are you, are you four? <laughs> There's a pill version, but it's not as effective. Mm, maybe they're still working on it. <gasps> Hi, meow mate. All right, but anyway, enough of Zempic chit chat. Let's get started with this episode. Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. So I actually wasn't even going to vlog today, but I also didn't even vlog yesterday. I went out, I hung with my mom, but I also filmed and posted three TikToks, which I'll show you guys right here, but not without the sound because 
I don't want to get copyrighted. And to the reaction. Why do you post thirst traps as someone who's 500 pounds? Um, Amber Lynn thinks she looks good. I mean, like, there's certain parts of Amber Lynn that she really likes. Amber Lynn likes her face. She likes her piercings. She really likes her hair. Amber Lynn doesn't entirely hate herself. So, with the right angle, the right lighting, um, Girly Pop could be really f be feeling herself. So, that's why these thirst traps go up. Mm-hmm. And to the reaction channels who are reacting, I don't want them to get copyrighted either because that would suck for all of us now, wouldn't it? Anyways, I've just been- Oh, how nice of her. Oh my God. She's thinking of me. Oh, oh, how nice. She doesn't want the reaction channels to have to deal with a copyright claim either. Wow. That's really thoughtful of her. Thank you, Amber Lynn. Huh. You know, the nice part about uh, reacting to certain people is in their video, it's already copyright free. So when I react to it, they've already done the work for me. <laughs> like if I were to make my own video and have music in the background, I would then later have to go in and manually edit it all out like these people do. But because they do it for me, it's less work. <laughs> like when Alicia goes to the grocery store and there's music playing in the background, she's the one that has to edit all that out. And then I just react to the final product. <laughs> wow. So how nice of Amber Lynn to take that out for me. Well, you know, she's the thoughtful empath. Can we see a Mr. Snowflake thirst trap? What? Now, if she's such the thoughtful empath, do you think that she would be willing to unblock me on Instagram? <gasps> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. She knows what she's doing. I mean, if she's that thoughtful and she's really that mindful of what I do on here, the least she could do is unblock me on Instagram. What do you say, Amber? Come on. Let's turn a new leaf. Let's call a truce. We'll both raise the white flag. And having like so much fun on the good old TikTok. I do go through phases where I stop posting on there and then I start again. Speaking of posting on places, a lot of people are contacting me about opening up my cameo again. I haven't done cameo, I don't know, I feel like it's been like over a year and I still have it in my description. So yeah, I'm thinking about opening it again because so many people are asking. So it's like, seems like it's a hot thing that people want to uh, have me do. Which I love doing it, but for some reason it takes so much energy because I want to do the right thing and say the right thing because you guys are paying for me to speak to you. So when I realized I like was starting to go through like a depression, I just like turned my cameo off and I was like, you know what? I need to take a step back because I don't want to be all like depressed in my cameos because it just, it didn't add up for me. And then ever since then, like I have- Don't y'all wish that you could do that with your work too? You know? If your boss tells you to do something that you don't want to do because you feel upset or you feel depressed or you just don't feel it, um, well, you know, I just didn't do it. I mean, cameos were a great way for her to make, I don't know, how much were they a pop? Like 30? So for like every three cameos she makes, that's $100. Well, I wasn't really feeling up to it, so I just stopped doing it. <laughs> She was getting depressed because she needed to put in effort. I don't, what I think that she didn't like about Cameo is that there was an assumption of responsibility. So if someone paid her to render a service, then Amber Lynn would have to comply and do it. She's much more so like an open ended kind of person. Like, I'll get to it when I get to it. If I'm feeling it, then I'll do it. If you give her a timeline and you expect something out of her, that's going to give her anxiety and that will cause her to be depressed. So I guess like the golden rule here is to not expect anything from her or else she'll get depressed and anxious. I like the eye makeup. Hi, lovesick. Oh, I'm sorry. All these super chats are rolling in. I haven't addressed a single one. Ugh. 
Maddie, thank you so much for the super sticker. Appreciate that, Maddie. Maddie with a Y. I have a Maddie with a Y, best friend. Her daughter's already turning two. Oh gosh, I feel like she just had her. Uh, uh. Atina Shrewsbury, thank you so much for the super sticker. Nikki Derringer, thank you for the super sticker. All these super stickers coming in. Holy cow. Atina, you also send in something else. Uh, just don't forget us when you get Jeffrey big. Oh, I could never do that, Star Family. I could never forget. I never forget where I came from. Thank you so much. But also, make sure to double tap the screen, please. <laughs> How is she in school? Amberlynn's not in school. Jordy, if I bought you that Betsy Johnson dress, would you wear it? Uh, um, yes. Hi, Dana. How much PTO does Amberlynn accumulate from her job? Um, about 20 days a month. Maybe more. I'm not started it again. So I'm thinking about it. I hear you guys and I know it's greatly requested. Ooh, Olive Garden. Pasta time, y'all. You know, the thing about Olive Garden is there's a lot of things that you can really pig out on, such as, well, I mean, you get, it's it's one or the other. I haven't been to Olive Garden in a really long time, but it's one or the other, if I'm not mistaken. You either get endless salad or you get endless soup and then unlimited breadsticks, of course. So even without an entree, well, I mean, in order to unlock that, in order to unlock the endless soup or salad, you have to order an entree. So even without her entree, girly pop here could be clearing four-figure calories with breadsticks and soup alone, you know? So Olive Garden's kind of a dangerous place. Any place that you can get endless anything, like Red Robin, you can get endless French fries. Um, yeah. I love the salad. I really like the salad there, too. Um, I was surprised to find out that their Italian dressing has, um, high fructose corn syrup in it, though. You know? You know, in me, with high fructose corn syrup, I'm trying to avoid that at all costs. I love the endless soup and salad. Oh, yeah, you can also get that as your entree. You can also get soup and salad as your entree. But... I don't know. You know what I kind of like about Olive Garden, too? At the end, they're like, well, if you want to have a take-home entree for $5, you can do that, too. So, like, they'll give you this, like, frozen thing of spaghetti and meat sauce for $5. That's kind of cool, too. I don't like Olive Garden at all. Um, if I, if I had options, like, to go other places, I would probably go other places. But, like, if I was, like, cohorced into going to Olive Garden, I don't know. I wouldn't hate it. Uh, Sith Ray, thank you so much. Jordy, I lost 300 pounds, 470 to 170. Amber Lynn was my motivation. Holy cow. 300 pounds. Oh my gosh. You know, and it's like crazy. When Whenever you lose, I mean, like, I've, I'm someone that's lost, like, not to make this all about me, but like, I'm someone that's lost like 25, 30 pounds in the past. And then you go to pick up a 25 pound weight and it's like, how the hell did I have that on me? Holy shit. Could you imagine trying to lift 300 pounds yet you were carrying that around? Oh my gosh. That's incredible. Sithy Ray. Whoa. -ho. Thank you for sharing that with us. Italians are shaking. Do you like steak? Yeah, I like steak. Canned chicken. You know who I also think uses canned chicken? Panera. Their chicken isn't very good. I feel like they used canned chicken. They, uh, can any Pan can any Panera employees in the chat confirm that? You know who used to work at Panera that would tell me some things? It's uh, Marley. Marley would always tell me about how nasty the mac and cheese was. And she says when they would clean their utensils, they wouldn't use soap. They would just put it under hot water. I worked at Panera. It's from a bag, frozen. Mm. 
Oh my god, her shoving her phone under her plate so the waitress doesn't judge her for filming. <laughs> mm. Well, she's already eating her entree, and on top of that, they were ordering more salad and breadsticks. Damn, they got an appetizer too. Holy shit. Now, if you've ever been to Olive Garden, you know that alone, the breadsticks and salad or soup, that's a lot of food. It's looking like Girly Pop here got an appetizer on top of the breadsticks and the salad. And an entree. Hmm. It's a lot of food. It's a lot of food. Artichoke dip is good. I love spinach and artichoke dip. Don't ruin the macaroni and cheese for me. Oh, the odd one. There are so many other options to get good mac and cheese. Don't think that Panera is like anything special. It almost tastes like a chowder. Like their, their mac and cheese. It tastes like a chowder to me. She's feasting. Well, honestly, if you want to pig out, Olive Garden's a great place to go because it's it's endless. Endless. Endless means as much as you want. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nicole Y, thank you so much for that. Uh, I'm at least happy she's big enough for the... Um... <sighs> okay. <laughs> Hit that like, y'all. Yes, yes, Star Family, please like the stream if you can. Jordy, have you ever watched Austin Powers, that fat Scottish guy? Um, it's been a long time. The only scene I remember from Austin Powers is like there's like a Zamboni or like a giant truck like driving one mile an hour and he's like running away thinking he's going to get run over. Fat Scottish guy, Austin Powers. Oh. <laughs> oh, he he has quite a unique name too. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Nicole. Oh wow, you sent in a third one. Nicole, the, the Nicole gang is slowly rising up. Were those three separate Nicole Ys? Or is this all the same person? I'm just assuming it's all the same person, right? Okay, cat profile picture, cat profile picture. Cat profile picture. Okay, it's the same person. Apparently, the Nicole gang is rising up. I don't know if you have enough Nicoles to rival the pantyhose gang, but you can try. Okay, you guys, so right now I'm currently at the Walmart. I'm actually in the toy aisle because I'm going to get a toy for my step niece and nephew because I'm going to go see them today. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to get, but... I know she really likes to color because I colored with her last time. So I'm probably gonna get her like a new coloring book. Maybe markers, probably not markers. I think she likes colored pencils, so I'll do that. Well, who's it for, her or you? Amber Lynn, is the, scribby, is the scribble, scrubby, Crayola, color and clean, adorable little pets playset for you or for her? Answer the question. Yay, Aunt Amber's coming over to color. Reporting for duty. <laughs> okay, so instead of getting like a standard coloring book, I found these scribble scrubbies. You literally get to use the markers on these cute little animals and then you can like clean it off and redo it. Color and clean adorable little pets. That is perfect. So I'm also gonna get her a few coloring books and this really cool twist up neon bright colored pencil. Oh, wasn't expecting the black dress. 
Black on black on black on black. When did Amber Lynn's step niece become such a good colorer? Kind of looks like Eugenia, honestly. Or no, it looks like Jeffrey. <laughs> uh, who's your favorite, Nicole? I like all the Nicoles equally. She drew that in. Scene girl. Yeah, it looks like she's ready to go to Warp Tour. Look at this. Hello, hello. Okay, so we have a taste test, folks. I hope that you're buckled up and ready because this is truly something. Oh my God. She's starting to do this more and more anymore. She buys a quirky snack from Trader Joe's or wherever she gets it from. And she eats it, and then she goes. She'll, she'll, every time she takes a bite of the quirky snack, she'll always go, "Oh, I wasn't expecting that." Like always, a state of bewilderment takes over her, and that's kind of how it goes from there. I've been wanting to try for like a minute now, so this girly pop is about to try it. So, so it's freeze dried, like sour gummy worms, and then freeze dried peach rings. Y'all, this whole bag, 150 calories. If you don't believe me. Oh, that means we can have the whole thing. <laughs> oh my God. There's only 100 calories in three. That means we can have the whole bag. <laughs> Taste test, you're just eating it. <laughs> The next time I sit down for a meal, I'm going to tell myself, okay, this is a taste test. <laughs> oh my God. Hi, Alexandra. She's high. I mean, she's told us recently that she still does, so I wouldn't be surprised. I hate freeze dried things. Can't say I've ever had too many freeze dried things. Hmm. When I go to sleep tonight, I'm going to call it bed rest. <laughs> oh my God. Me, look there, 150 calories. Like what? Okay, so the first one I'm going to be trying are the peach rings. I'm so excited. I feel like I'm going to love the texture. All right, I love a peach ring in real life. So I hope this is good. I mean, it shouldn't taste any different. Damn, look at that thing. That thing is thick with two C's. Look at that. This is good. Whoa. Look at this thing. Look how thick that is. I wanted to hold it up to the camera again. Look at that. Whoa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Girly Pop's going to have a time and a half with this. The Yorkie hair is back. Yes, yes. Our Yorkshire Terrier Lynn is back. I hope this is good. I mean, it shouldn't taste any different because it's literally a peach ring just freeze dried. All right, let's go. <laughs> Whoa. That is sweet. What the heck? What? Ten out of ten. Okay, now the summer gummy, the summer gummy worms, sour, not summer. Like, what am I doing? Look at that. <laughs> Me trying to get a thumbnail. All right, let's why? Try it. Why is everything so big? These things are massive. This is like a gargantuan cheese curl. Yeah, these things are gigantic. Ooh, it's crunch. Yeah. Feeder fodder. Mmm. Um, the noise, I, I will warn y'all, the noise that is about to come from this scene is pretty ungodly. So listen at your own risk, because um, personally, for me, my misophenia, or however it's pronounced, that little disorder when you can't take sounds, like it gets triggered when I hear this scene right here. Whoa, these are 
And she tries to make it quirky. She tries to make eating like this quirky. In a second, she'll probably go, ASMR! And she'll start chewing it. And she, like, rapid fires the scenes. So it's like, chew, 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 chew. It's, it's horrible. Get, get ready for it. Get ready for it. They're very sweet. Not as sweet as the peach rings, but still very, 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 very sweet. The texture is heaven. This is true ASMR. <laughs> See, eating them like this, you eat way less calories because they're just so strong. I've literally sat here and only had two of these. And if I had like real gummy worms, I would have already had like 10. Your girl recommends. Hello, hello. Well, I was gonna say welcome to a new vlog, but I'm pretty sure this is continuing on from whatever I have from prior to this. But hello, I actually have not put on my lipstick yet, so I need to go do that. But today I am spending the day with my mom and my grandma. So we are currently at the casino. I'm excited. I haven't been in a hot minute, but. Wow. Who would have guessed that coincidentally, when Amber Lynn left the house in this episode, it's with her mom. Whoa. It's almost as if Amber Lynn doesn't go anywhere without her mom. Huh. But that would be a pretty crazy assumption to make. Girl, we don't want ASMR from you. You know, you know. I mean, like, ASMR, in my opinion, is, like, something that you should go seek out. Like, if you like listening to that stuff, go to an ASMR channel. I don't want to hear from Amber Lynn Reed with a package of candy. Different day could have fooled me. <laughs> uh, she needs friends. Well, apparently she has a lot of friends. And so does Chantal. Chantal told us in her episode from yesterday that she has a lot of friends. Y'all just don't know about them. They go to other schools. <laughs> She's been wearing a lot of pigtails lately. Isn't she like 30? Uh, she's 33. She's just in her Angelica Pickles era, okay? Back off. We all wanted to go today, so we're like, let's do it. My hair is frizzy today. I added none of my little like frizzy sprays, so don't mind that. I will say the temperature today is perfect. I think it's like in the high 60s. It just feels so good. I've been trying to light one of these guys up for the last forever. Okay, I won $29.50. I almost ran the grand. I almost won the grand, but it didn't work out very well. <laughs> is it filming? Uh, is it? I don't know. I think so. Do I need to push it? No, oh, it's fine. I think it's fine. My mom just won. <laughs> you know what? I, I hate to be this person. No, I don't. But I hate to be this person, but I read a comment as it went by when she was doing the taste test. And one of you said, I forget who said it, but one of you said, does it look like she's using a filter? But in my experience, Amber Lynn isn't really someone that uses filters. I mean, we've kind of seen every inch of this woman. Um, we've seen the absolute worst of her. So it's kind of like, well, what does she have to hide? You know, when you kind of look at it straight on like this, um, versus this little uh, slot machine scene, I'm kind of seeing a difference. I don't know if it's just the angle or what, but okay, so this is our freeze-dried girly pop angle, and this is the slots angle. Very well. <laughs> Hair necessarily. Chantal has admitted to using filters. Um, where did her nose go? Her skin is not that smooth. Mm. Fishing for a new wifey. Well, apparently she already has one.
Mama Lynn is gambling her YouTube fortune away. Oh my God, did y'all see that video of that guy at the casino? And I, I, I've, I've never seen anything like this before, but he somehow had his bank account linked to the machine that he was playing on. And he was just t- withdrawing tens of thousands of dollars from his bank account. And it was going into the slot machine and he would press the button like five times. And he spent like 10 grand just like that. That's scary. They, they shouldn't be allowed to do that. I think that there should be withdrawal limits. That's screwed up. I think the mom is filming. Yeah, she is. Is it filming? Hi. Is it? I don't know. I think so. Do I need to push it? Oh, it's fine. I think it's fine. My mom just won. How much was it? 60. 60 doll hairs. Good job. I just won $64. Oh my god, she had to one up her. Mom, you won 60? Oh my god, I won 64. <laughs> Oh my god, I love that. Well, I just won 61. <laughs> Drinking Lynn. You know, at the local casinos around here in Pittsburgh, for the longest time, well, this was all pre-COVID, you would get free soda. You would get free soda. But nowadays, there's no free soda. So I'm wondering, does her casino have complimentary soda or is she buying that you know nicole why that's too funny oh my god thank you for the super chat again (laughs) i won 60 i won 64 how much did she spend though yeah that's the question you always want to ask people that go to the casino and win oh you won 70 dollars that's incredible yeah but i spent 200 (laughs) <laughs> you know who's somebody that likes to gamble a lot is marley and you always got to follow up with that question because sometimes she'll hit me up and she'll be like i won fifteen hundred dollars this weekend <laughs> okay how long were you there for and how much did you spend to get that fifteen hundred i got a rock that was a water cup i think oh uh, maybe that's definitely a drink drink I don't know. I mean, what? what? That's quite an angle right there. That is quite a thumbs up. That is a thumbs up if I've ever seen a thumbs up. She's having a drinky poo. I mean... It's in like a weird little styrofoam cup and honestly like when they would give away when they would give away free soda at the casino it came in these cups these little like chintzy styrofoam cups like i don't know if i paid for a drink at the casino and it came in this cup i'd be a little annoyed because this is this is tiny i bet you this is free soda hmm you think it's lean Shut up. <laughs> oh my god. Hairs. Good job. I just won $64. Woo! Well, I actually was not going to tell you this at all, but I have been off track the last couple of days. And the reason why I wasn't going to tell you is just because, like, I feel like there's so much judgment. Like, I have been doing really good and still people are judging so hard. I have lost a good chunk of weight. And That's just a matter of opinion. Amber Lynn says that she's been doing really good. I, I, I just disagree. I, I don't think for, like, these little point decimal weight loss reductions that she's been saying that she's I don't think that in my opinion that's not doing good but that's doing good in her opinion obviously and anytime that 
Amberlynn is doing good, it then registers in her head as, well, I've been doing so well lately, I deserve a treat. I lost two pounds, so let's go have endless entrees at Olive Garden. You know? Kyle, get up from under the covers. Judgment matters more than your health. There's just so many, there's just been so many girly pops out there judging me. Uh, she's lying again. Uh, In my opinion, my body feels that way. Like my brain feels that way. My soul feels that way. Like I feel like it's been a really good Sorry, there's like lint, cat hair and everything else. Anyways, I feel like I've lost a really good amount of weight each month so far in 2024 when I said, you know, I'm gonna get on track, I'm gonna do this thing. I said I wanted to lose 100 pounds this year and so far, like, I am on the path to doing so. Even though I've been doing really good, it's just like still there's so much judgment and it's making it like hard for me to wanna like vocalize moments. Who's, who's, who's judging Amber Lynn? When has Amber Lynn ever been judged? Amberlynn, give me a few examples of when you have ever been judged on the internet by others. <laughs> Delusional. It's like this, where I feel vulnerable and I know that I have done not the greatest and I kind of just want to talk about it and be open about it, but it's like so hard to do because there's backlash. Oh my god. Vulnerability. <sighs> I get so sick of the concept of vulnerability on here sometimes. You showing us... Endless soup and salad at Olive Garden is not vulnerability. Did anyone hear Amber's new poem? No, I haven't yet. For me being human and making mistakes and not being perfect, as someone who has struggled with food for a majority of their life, I'm literally 33, like, it's gonna happen. Like, I'm gonna be making mistakes. And I know what triggered that. It was definitely my trip to Trader Joe's because when I go there, I get a lot of, like, processed foods. It was definitely out of, like, my routine, the things that I have been buying for myself. Like, it wasn't like part of the routine that I've been having. Like I have been eating a lot of the same foods every single day and that's truly helped me so much stay on track. So then when I had all these new foods in my home, especially processed ones and ones that like just make me feel a little too good, like. So Trader Joe's is at fault for this new failure in diet. Well, if Trader Joe's didn't have such good pre-packaged frozen meals, then I would be losing weight right now. Good lord. I, I mean, this this is ridiculous. I broke my routine. And honestly, you know what? I kind of thought this. When she did her last little Trader Joe's haul and she was showing us all the stuff she bought there, I'm thinking... I mean, wh what are we doing buying a big bag of frozen cheesy potatoes? Oh, it's, it's, it's from Trader Joe's. Trigger Joe's. Oh! <gasps> Trigger Joe's. Oh my god, that's what I'm calling it from now on. It does. It's a trigger. Mm-hmm. Trigger Joe's. Can't be shopping there anymore, Amber Lynn. Uh-uh. My Beavers unit, thank you so much for the super chat. I found 25 cents at the gas station today, and I spent $2 to tell you. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. I love it. Oh my god. Trigger Joe's. Who said that? I'm modding you. Sometimes foods like give me a high. If you guys suffer with a food addiction or you're an emotional eater, then you guys understand that. And I really want to try to stay away from foods that like give me that feeling and sucks to say Trader Joe's is not for me or not for me currently. It's like, I just feel super swollen. I just have not been doing very good the last couple of days. It's like, I went to Olive Garden the other day with my mom, which is totally fine because I have been allowing myself to eat at restaurants. But during a day where I'm on track, I'm able to like fit that into my calories. I'm able to do really good. But the Olive Garden day was an off track day and I tried. 
I woke up, I said, you know what? Back to counting my calories. And Olive Garden was my first meal. And I was like, okay, I got this, I got this. And then like, I was tracking my food while I was there. I was fine. But then later at night, I overate. I don't expect myself to be perfect. I definitely don't at all. Never have been, never will be. But coming on here and admitting this is really hard because I know what people are- <sighs> She was on track at Olive Garden, but then she came home and it all fell to pieces. Uh. <clears throat> Olive Garden's fine, but Trader Joe's is the problem. Yes. Yes. It was those never-ending pasta bowls. They'll get you every time. I mean, when you sit down and you eat as much pasta as you possibly can... You're going to go over your calories. I don't I don't understand how that math works. I really don't. But yeah, when you just keep getting plate and plate and plate of pasta, I guess it adds up and it ruins your day on the calories. So, but I mean, Amber Lynn's not perfect. She's still a work in progress. She's still learning. So we should learn to be patient with her. She's going to get it eventually. So for all of you judgers out there, I would just like to ask you to... Um, I don't know. Back off. Back off. That soup and salad can get you too. Yeah, I mean, who would have thought that taking some iceberg lettuce and pouring Italian dressing all over it and then uh, opening up your jaw like a gullet and uh, throwing it on in there would be bad. You know what I really like at Olive Garden, though? I really like their minestrone. I know this has nothing to do with what we're talking about, but I like their minestrone. That pasta doesn't contain calories. It's gluten-free. Mary! Thank you so much for resubscribing on Twitch. Welcome back for another month. Hope your week is coming along swimmingly, Mary. Always good to see your name pop up. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Alfredo Lynn. Wasn't there... I don't know if he was an artist or what, but he was like... His name was like Alfredo Flores. Am I making this up? There, there was like a guy. He was popular on social media. His name was Alfredo Flores. Maybe Amber Lynn could collab with that person and they could go to Olive Garden together and they could both eat Alfredo pasta and tell each other that they're doing a good job. Mm. Mm hmm. Oh my god, not minestrone. It's minestrone. Oh my god. Don't don't give me that like weird Italian pronunciation. Let me be my ignorant American self. Next, you're gonna correct me on how I'm saying Porsche or uh, crepe. Haters back off. No, hey, can we can we cool it on the judgment around here? Uh, uh. The salad cancels it out. Oh, I didn't think of that. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Four plates of pasta do not mean anything. So as long as a few pieces of romaine lettuce go down your throat, that's how that. Okay, all right gonna say they're gonna say that i've given up which i haven't they're gonna say they've expected this which... <laughs> wait isn't the name of my stream like amberlin gives up <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> haters are gonna say that i gave up and like but the... <laughs> the title of my stream is amberlin gives up <laughs> fine i try really hard to film for the people who are like genuinely here to like watch me but right now in the back of my brain i have a lot of like the rude bullying and harassing just like bullying at me in there uh, rude harassing <gasps> not genuinely watching her these are all pretty mighty big claims to be making against people, Amber. 
we're not genuinely watching her. We're bullying her. We're harassing her and we're being rude. Um, I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Mm -mm. Bullying. Bullying. <sighs> As if this is the schoolyard playground. <sighs> How is telling the truth bullying? Well, I don't think that Amber Lynn has ever had anyone in her life to tell her like it is. So since she began doing the YouTube stuff for like, oh, I don't know. What's it been now? Like 10 years. She's gotten a whole lot of people that otherwise she never had in her life. So, I mean, f up until she was like in her mid twenties, no one ever called Amber Lynn out on her shit. So now that she suddenly is on the internet, it's like, oh, well, y'all are just nasty shitheads. I hate you. You're bullies. She's playing with it. Mm-hmm. Despectful piece of pasta. <laughs> and you are a despectful piece of shit. I still want mac and cheese. Y'all can get mac and cheese, just not from Panera. That's fine. That's fine. My Beavers unit, thank you again. Your Instagram story cracked me up today, being all moody. <laughs> Which part of it? Oh my god. So, if y'all haven't heard, OJ Simpson passed away. Caitlyn Jenner tweeted, good riddance, and... Sometimes on Twitter, it will show you where the person tweeted from. So, like, if I were to tweet from my phone, it would say Twitter for iPhone. Or if you tweeted from a computer, it would be, like, Twitter for desktop. For some reason, when Caitlyn Jenner tweeted good riddance, it said Twitter for SUV. <laughs> and if you know about Caitlyn Jenner and her car accident from the not-so-distant past, um, that's pretty... <laughs> What are you doing tweeting from your car? <laughs> First of all, I didn't even know that cars could tweet. <laughs> and second of all, I really don't think Caitlyn Jenner should be using that feature, of all people. Oh, boy. So she didn't count calories in the most caloric of places? She did. She, I mean, she said once she left Olive Garden, she was still doing well for the day. But when she got home, she wanted to finish out strong. So I'd imagine she got some takeout. Uh... And I don't like it. I don't like the way it makes me feel. Like, I want to be more vulnerable with you guys. And I want to open up with you guys like I used to. Like... So many people reach out to me and they say they miss that side of me. But whenever I do it, it's just, I feel like another wall gets added right in front of the wall that was already up because people are just like too harsh. The good news is though, I did go grocery shopping today. Well, Amber, honestly, regardless of whether or not I or other reaction channels are too harsh on you, if you took our advice every once in a while and you applied it to your life, I mean, that would help you. Yeah, I could be phrasing I could be phrasing things a lot more nicer. Yeah, I don't have to always have a little smart ass wise crack at the end of everything. But I, I mean, you're not gonna listen anyway. So I mean, I, I've I, I mean, like honestly, like I've years past, I've come on here and I've given really standard objective advice. But you're, you you don't listen to it anyway. So what does it matter if I'm a, you know, harassing, rude bully? I guess they don't mention it on the Kardashians. Caitlyn Jenner's car accident. That was, I, I, well, how long ago is that? Like five years ago? Yeah. 
Amber, you need to lose weight to save your life. What does our opinion matter? Yeah, I mean, at this point, it's like people are mean. People are mean. I think it was 2015, honestly. She transitioned in 2015. I don't think it was that long ago. I feel like it was more like 2018, 2019. Really? It was 2015? What? Oh my god. I didn't I didn't realize that was so long ago. Oh my god. Caitlin Pitt. Caitlin Oh, they paid the family off. Oh shit. Caitlyn Jenner just seems like a whole ass piece of shit. Was she drunk? I don't think so. Amberlynn talking about the victim of bullying, and we're talking about Caitlyn Jenner's car crash from 10 years ago. <laughs> okay, Amber, yeah, t tell us about what, what is she, vulnerability? I, I, don't, I don't know. At my normal grocery store, I got the normal foods that I have been eating, and I'm going to start again tomorrow, back on my same old path here. And my goal was to stay below 2,000 calories, but like, also another part of me is like so I'm mad at myself where I'm like, I want to stay below 1700 now. It's just like, that's like a, <laughs> that's getting in like a problematic area. It's like me wanting to punish myself for having a couple or a few days of not counting calories. That's not okay. I have even been taught that by multiple weight loss doctors or when I was going to the outpatient, like you are not supposed to punish yourself in that way. But like my brain is telling me, well, you've done really bad and you really want to lose these hundred pounds this year. And if you can, you can do more by lowering your calories to 1700. Like, it's just like this, like. So, okay. So let me get this straight. If Amber Lynn goes over her calories for the day and then the days following that, whereas normally she's used to having 2000 a day, she decides to, lower it to 1700 a day that's punishing herself i'm gonna be honest i i don't think that that's punishment um not eating anything for the whole day yeah that would be punishment um lowering it by a few hundred cal Th this is uh See, it's like it's times like this where I, I genuinely can't tell if she's trolling or not. Like her her sitting here telling us that eating 1700 calories is punishment. I can't tell if she's fucking with me or not. That's such an unhealthy way to view eating. I know, and otherwise Amber Lynn has a very healthy way of viewing eating. So that's a little bit uh, I don't know out there for me. I'm not I'm not used to that with her cuz normally she's so good about it. Hi, pined can apple. <clears throat> Her overeating is the punishment. Yeah, so why is overeating not a punishment, but undereating is? Well, under undereating. That's a little um See, and it's just like when we talk about this and I roll my eyes and everything, it's like I, I really can't tell. Is she coming on here and saying this to fuck with us or does she actually mean this? Either way, it's terrifying because if she's trolling, she's only trolling herself. Who cares about what I think? Who cares about what any of you think? I mean, it's her body at the end of the day. But if she genuinely thinks like that, that's terrifying too because how are you that misguided? <sighs> good Lord, good Lord. Um, Butterfly71, thank you so much for the super chat. Don't forget, if you eat faster, you get more. Imagine how fast those bowls were disappearing at Olive Garden. Yeah, it's like if you eat slower, your brain has more time to tell your body that you're full. But if you inhale it like Kirby, you get to eat a lot more. So if you eat a lot more, it's kind of like you're using like a cheat code to get more in. <laughs> Oh, good lord. 
Thanks so much, Butterfly. Ursinate, welcome back for another month. Hello. The only way to genuinely watch her is to turn off your critical thinking. Hmm. I don't know. I like critically rationalizing Amberlynn's crazy thoughts. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> oh my god. Welcome back, Ursinate. Thanks so much. KC, thanks for becoming a member. Hello, KC. What do you stand for? Kansas City? Huh? Speak up. What's KC stand for? I try to put my fork down between bites. I've also... Well... No, I, I'm not going to say that, actually. What I was going to say... Well, I've heard I've heard two things about this. I've heard that, one, it's, it's, it's actually, like, destructive to do this. But actually, two, it tells people, like... It, it gets people to slow down. Um, eating in front of a mirror, I've heard, can be something that gets people to, like, not consume as much. Oh, it does stand for Kansas City? Oh, it's my initials. Oh, but you live in Kansas City. Oh, okay, okay. It's an ED behavior. I also take big drinks of water between bites. Thing in my brain. Like well, sometimes your body isn't really even hungry. It's just thirsty. So these people will inhale food like Kirby when if they would have just been drinking water regularly throughout the day, they wouldn't have felt hungry to begin with. Like, these are things that, like, I just normally would just jot down in my journal and very much focus in on there and not share this out loud. But I feel like I haven't really been that transparent in my current 2024 weight loss journey. I've kind of just been like, yeah, I'm on track, you guys. Like, here's the food I'm eating. This is how many calories I'm having. This is how much weight I lost. Da, da, da. But, like, I kind of want to go, like, a little bit deeper, dig a little deeper. And people are going to hate me regardless. So... She wants to dig a little bit deeper. I don't think that we've even broke ground. We haven't even, we have not even bought the shovel yet. I want to dig deeper. Oh my God. Uh... It is what it is. <laughs> like, I just need to like, just truly try my very hardest to like take out the trash and focus on the wonderful people who are watching me. And I love- <gasps> uh, Shit. Wait, who's she calling trash? That's not very nice. That's not a very nice way to speak about your audience. The people that are putting money into your pocket. I am quite literally putting money into your pocket by watching this video on YouTube right now. I need to take out the trash. That is not a very nice way to talk. See, I mean, see, and this is what I mean, Amberlynn. You come on here, you call us rude. You call us bullies. You say, I'll, you know, say what, what but I, I mean, when you turn around and do the same thing, I mean, come on. If we're trash, then so is she. Yeah, are we all trash? So, I mean, are we the ones trying to get you to come into the mud and wrestle around with us? Or are you in the mud with us also? I think that you're already in the mud with us. We're all in the mud. You are trash, Jordy. Yeah, that's not very nice. She's the bully. Mean girl, Lynn. I don't know what it is about the Yorkie pigtails, but it's just putting, I don't know, the wrong kind of energy out into the Amberverse. <sighs> it's just not nice. I just don't how I just don't know how in one scene you can call people rude and disgusting and all that, but then turn around and call those same people trash. 
trash. <laughs> That's kind of messed up. It's kind of messed up. Love you guys so freaking much. You have no idea. So vulnerability is for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys. The vulnerability is for you guys. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's do some retros, shall we? Shall we? All right, quirky alert. Let's just watch a quirky alert video. And you are a despectful piece of shit. The real way and the right way. If you can come out of the package, ma'am. What is this, a pregnancy test? Oh my God. Are you guys ready for it? Cause I know I am. Ooh, daddy. Ooh, daddy. So I'm gonna be eating three pretty big slices of pizza. Oh yeah, this is when she felt that she wasn't getting enough calories for the day. She didn't even want to eat this. She she felt that she had to. Pepperoni. I'm not really a pepperoni girl, but oh well. This is it good, babe? Mm. I guess I saw it Subway too. Who'd you see? The same person that was at. You're a law. No. She saw me too, and she was like. You're a uh, lot. I swear, I heard her say that when she got in the car. Okay. So we have some spagurter. Spagurter. People will. Who else here, when they have spaghetti and meatballs, serves it with potato chips? Anyone? It's the perfect side. It's the perfect side. I wonder if Amber Lynn, when she was having her pasta at Olive Garden, ordered a side of potato chips. Huh. They'll judge, and they'll continue to judge, because they want something to judge you on. It's that simple. Wait, this is literally her 10 minutes ago. The video she put up yesterday, she's saying the same thing as she is right now. <laughs> So nothing has changed in eight years. <laughs> carbs with carbs on the side. I've like, I don't eat Italian a lot. Sorry, Italian lovers out there. But I just have never understood why pasta is served with a side of bread. I've never understood that. <laughs> oh my gosh. So maybe Amber Lynch is quirky in that regard, you know? Instead of bread, have some potato chips. Anonymous, thank you so much for gifting two subscriptions on Twitch to Fay Fairy and Ripped Pantyhose. Thank you for doing that. Are you ever going to reveal your identity, Anonymous? That's okay. If you don't want to, you don't have to. But I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Sonic Izzy, thank you so much. All of this is ED thoughts and behaviors. Mm. Yep, definitely picking up on that as well. Thank you so much, Sonic. You use the bread to soak up the sauce. Because <laughs> we're in America, Jordy. Let me ask this. Do they do that in Europe? Like, is, is pasta traditionally served in... Italy with bread on the side? Or is that an American thing? The bread is meant to soak up leftover sauce. Okay. It's an American activity. <sighs> Why do we do everything wrong? <laughs> Potatoes are her favorite vegetable. Yeah, she loves potatoes so much that one almost took her out last year. Like, 
no matter what I do, no matter what Chantel does, we're going to get hate for it unless we are doing exactly what you told us to do. But you aren't our moms, you aren't our bosses. You for all those people out there telling us that we should be living a different lifestyle, you're going to continue to judge us unless we change our lifestyle, huh? Well, the only thing I have to say to that is you're not my mom, you're not my dad, and you don't know what's best for me. I know what's best for me, clearly. Look at this screen right now. I know what's best for me, dipshit. So yeah, keep making your little reaction videos saying all these things about how I should be changing and how I should be making positive... Da, da, da. Okay, you're not the boss of me. That's that's like a like a ten year old, you know, like a ten year old. You're not the boss of me. You're not my real dad. She throws Chantal into everything. Oh, she just wants to have somebody else in her corner. That's something that Chantal does a lot too. <laughs> when Chantal wants to feel like it's multiple people getting ganged up on. It's like, well, me and Amber Lynn, but then any other time she'll never mention Amber Lynn. But whenever she needs to have a human shield, it's like, well, Amber Lynn too. You guys roast her. <laughs> you are obese, but you're healthy. You aren't our dads. You aren't our doctors. <laughs> I just think the fact that people can hate on us so hardcore and judge us so hard over the food we put in our mouth is... I'll explain. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This, this is literally present day. We just watched this in her most recent video of her eating at Olive Garden. And she called us judgmental. And now we're watching a throwback video from, oh, I don't know, six, seven years ago. And she's saying, I can't believe people are judging me for it. it nothing has changed. Literally, literally the same exact person. Like her picking her nose right here. This, this, this was filmed 20 minutes ago. How can Amber Lynn back up Chantal as a lesbian? Apparently Chantal's bi. But, well, no, hold on. Chantal's bi, but then when she became a Muslim, she's no longer bi. I didn't know that that, that worked that way. So if you convert religions, you can also change your sexual orientation. Now that's something. That's something. She just has Yorkie hair now. Yeah, she's still saying the same thing since this video. She's just a Yorkshire Terrier now. Oh, hi, Alejandra. Oh, boy. Buckle up. Amber Lynn is a lot to get into. Mm-hmm. This is where it's at, you guys. Oh, my God. There's someone on Twitch with the username Amber Lynn's Big Potato Chunk, and they said, hey, look, it's me. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't use butter. I didn't use oil. I just used water to cook this. That's just how I prefer It's kind of helping. It's to the point where I kind of have to like force myself to eat right now. I really don't want to eat. Like I don't. But I haven't eaten today at all. And that's not good. Oh my god. Look, it's the same exact thing. She doesn't want to punish herself. So she's going to shove three pieces of pizza down her throat. 
Well, that's really nice of her to take her own health into consideration. I really don't want to be eating right now, but I haven't eaten today. So I, what am I going to do? Just punish myself? I don't want to do that. That's not healthy either. When she does that little eye shift, that's my favorite part of this scene. When she looks over to the side, like, well, what am I going to do? Just not eat pizza? That's my favorite part. Here, watch again. It's coming up. I haven't eaten today at all. And that's not good. Um, I've been awake for, I don't know, five hours. I'm not sure what these are, but I'm definitely going to try them. I'm actually starving, so... Oh. <laughs> okay. That was pretty extra. Alright, so... Do you want to tell them? Okay. Um. I guess I'm gonna go ahead and just say it. Um, we have broke up. It happened Sunday. And. It's crazy to think that after this moment, I think they broke up on June 20, 29th. Yeah, I think that they broke up on June 29th, 2021. Becky did not move out of that apartment until September. <laughs> oh my God. And that's no shade to Becky. Amber Lynn made it pretty much irresistible to her. It's like, well, you know, you can continue, you continue to live here and everything. Just because she needed, she needed a caretaker, you know? Amber Lynn, especially at this state three years ago, was in no place to take care of herself. So... She needed a new cast member. So June 29th to July 11th or however long it took her to start talking to wifey on Instagram. She was probably shitting her pants because she's thinking, oh, God, I'm not going to have anybody to take care of me. Hi, Solder Bell. What's she eating, Jordy? Goldfish. It was initiated by me. When I see her eat something that's bad for her, it breaks my heart because she doesn't understand nutrition like I do. And I don't, like, who's going to listen to me? Look at me, you know, that's just how it goes. It's so popular on YouTube and I'm surprised I don't make more of them, to be honest. I don't really do mukbangs. Mukbangs, like a lot of people are like, oh, Amberlynn, you're using your weight loss for views. And I'm just like, I'm using... I'm just like, I'm using my life. For it's kind of the opposite, actually. I mean, using weight loss for views would imply that you're losing weight. So if anything, it's the opposite. Right? I don't know. Did, 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 I, did I mishear that? She hated how much everyone loved Becky. Most of those super chats, and honestly, it's fucked up now that we think about it. Most of those super chats back then that people were sending in the live stream era, Amber Lynn made a lot of money, a lot of money that summer. And most of those super chats were for Becky. Becky didn't see a dime. Mm-hmm. Reviews, really, because this channel is about my life. I don't know. If I wanted more money, I'd be making mukbangs, honey. <laughs> I need to get something in my system. If I wanted more money, I'd be making mukbangs. And then immediately takes a bite of something. <laughs> oh my god. She's funny. She is funny. Some um in my system what in my body and my stomach and the only thing that we really have right now is pizza i don't like fat so on meat that is a no-go nope okay let's dive into this Sorry, vegans. Is that even okay to say? <laughs> oh my god. That is not meant to come 
off and sensitive in the slightest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm starving. I don't like pepperoni. Oh, well, gobble, gobble, gobble. Yeah, Amber Lynn's told us in the past that sometimes when she... Well, when the binge monster takes over, like when she goes through metamorphosis and the binge monster becomes her, like she's like demonic possession, um, she'll sometimes eat things that she doesn't even like. It's just eating to eat. Uh, Alejandra Martinez, thank you so much for the super chat. What if we all stopped watching and reacting? Do you think she would force herself to get a job? Well... I think that Amber Lynn, com compared to Chantal, I think that Amber Lynn uh, has more in savings than Chantal. So she would be good for a while. Um, but theoretically, yes, if she was not able to make money on YouTube and she didn't have savings to live off of, there would be no other choice. I mean, unless she could get disability, I guess. But I don't know. Can you get disabilities for just being a quarter ton? Like when you fill out the application, it's like, what's your disability? Like, can you just put fat? I, I don't know. I don't know. But theoretically, yes. But I don't think that that will ever be the case just because she's covered her bases. No, she would find a new person to leech off of. It's kind of like with Chantal and Amber. It's like we will try to avoid... A, like a traditional nine to five um, at all costs. So if it ever got that dire, desperate times call for desperate measures. So she would have to, I don't know, move in a feeder or something. So see, some way that would be able, so she wouldn't have to go work a job like that. Because honestly, in all, in all honesty, she couldn't. She couldn't. She had trouble doing it seven years ago when she was with Destiny. She would complain about back pain. I mean, could you imagine now? Amber Lynn has a quarter of the work ethic and 10 times the health problems. So she just couldn't. Has she ever worked? Yeah, she has. My Beavers unit, thank you again. Little Debbie's and Alfredo sauce and bacon. Little Debbie, oh my gosh. <laughs> that sounds unholy. Uh, Twisted, thank you so much for resubscribing. Welcome back for another month. Love, Jordan. Moi, have a good day. Thank you so much, Twisted. A big heart hand for you. I just said that like how I talk to dogs. That's usually how I talk to dogs. Look how cute you are. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to talk to you like a dog, Twisted. Take it as a compliment. My disability equals ASMR. Oh, you know what? I forgot she had ASMR. Yeah. She probably would qualify then. Okay. Hmm. Alright, you got um your pappy had a heart attack today. Living in fear and I was trying to find tons of excuses to Oh wait, there it is. Okay, the, the infamous Pappy had a heart attack today. So here is my Amber Lynn sticker. Sorry, if it'll focus. If it'll focus. Her Pappy had a heart attack today. Isn't this lovely? Amber Lynn merch. Pappy had a heart attack today. Heart attack today. Living in fear, and I was trying to find tons of excuses to quit. I'm gonna be honest, I was trying to find every excuse to quit, and I found one. So I got to thinking, I was like, How many calories am I eating in a day doing this program? So I logged everything into my fitness pal from day one and day two, and it was only about 900 calories. So I got a little freaked out. I, I honestly was freaking out. I'm gonna be real. I know a lot of weight loss patients eat around that amount it's like 900 1200 and then eventually they eat 1500 and oh i logged everything and wait that's wild i know a lot of weight loss patients eat 900 1200 and then they'll go up to 1500 but just in the video we watched 1700 was her punishing herself 
So some time ago, Amberlin admitted to weight loss patients eating as low as 900 calories, but now 1,700 is punishment? I don't know. Do you think that it's changed with inflation, you know, how everything's more expensive nowadays? Do you think that calorie limits have gone up too? I can't stand her slurping. That makes two content creators that I cover on here being accused of doing that. What is it about slurping that just makes it seemingly everywhere? Huh. I just joined. What's the drama? Um, Amber Lynn says we're all mean, basically. Caitlin Ray, hello. Thank you so much for that. Have your day. It's going well, Caitlin. I'm low-key Starvine. I'm going to have to get a Starvine sticker. Yeah, I don't have a Starvine sticker. I would like a Doxine sticker, too. You know? Doxine. But the slurping is for very different reasons. You're right about that, JJ. Juniper Deer, thank you so much for resubscribing on Twitch. Welcome back for another month. Three months. Love you, Jordy, and chat. Less than a week until I go to the UK. Oh my god, enjoy your trip. I've never been to the UK. I have never hopped across the pond. I hope you enjoy it. You're going to have to let us know how it goes. We are trash again? Yes. Yes. I don't know if we ever stopped being trash. Can we buy those stickers? I, I I got them on Etsy like two months ago. I'd imagine they're still on there. Just go on Etsy and type in Amberlynn Reed. You'll find them. I also got a Jeffree Star riding a yak sticker. So here's Jeffree Star on a yak. If it'll focus. Focus. Whatever. Jeffrey riding a yak. I didn't realize you're on Twitch too. I am. And maybe soon I'll be on TikTok because Streamlabs just gave me this notification. It's like, you can also stream to TikTok. Should I start streaming on TikTok? Oh my God. I feel like I would get a younger audience because I feel like the age range of my audience is like anywhere from like 20 plus. But on TikTok, if I were to start streaming on there, it'd be like 11 year olds. I don't know if 11-year-olds would find Girl World entertaining. I feel like they would just think, like, this is stupid. You know, this has no riz. You know? Younger audience, listen now. <laughs> I know, as soon as that came out of my mouth, I thought, oh, God, I'm <laughs> calling them old. <laughs> My sodium was over 4,000 milligrams. I think it was at 4,600. I was about to say 46,000. I'd be dead. Yeah, it was at 4,600 milligrams. And that took me aback. Like she, she had my charts in her hand. She was like, you're healthy, but you are obese. But, um, I do want you guys to know that I'm the queen of like moderation. I lost 89 pounds before. Um, I'm like ready. I'm hungry. Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now let's read comments for my newest video, which I know is going to be harsh. Bird beef jerky. Jack Link says my absolute favorite and we have a diet Coke. So I'm going to be scrumption down on this. Scrumption down. Babe, is that a word? It is? Okay, I'm an idiot. I think the word I was looking for was scrumptious. You know, just a piece of- You know what I think of when I think of the word scrumptious? Um, the scene in Undercover Brother where he is trying to date that blonde haired woman and 
she gets him to put mayonnaise on his sandwich and he eats it and absolutely hates it. But he has to feign like he likes it. So he says, scrumptious. <laughs> oh, my God. That's such a good movie. We should watch the one where she reads comments. <laughs> I love when she says, I was raised on jerky. The meat. You can even go to McDonald's and have cheeseburgers if you want and just take off the bun. But he wasn't mentioning like fruits and vegetables. And for some reason, that just like surprised me for some reason. I was today and when we went to go sit down, there was this girl who, you know, to me looked like she was maybe like 50 pounds bigger than me. I can't really say I asked Destiny. Like I have this like, crazy thing where if I see someone that's like really morbidly obese like I am I'll literally ask whoever I'm with hey is that person bigger than me I don't know why it's sickening I don't know why I do it I don't know if it's because I want to feel better about myself or I want to understand how other people visually see me I really don't know what it is and I asked this and she's like I don't know I wasn't really looking at her I'm like oh that helps but favorite things came with white rice <laughs> not complaining. I usually eat this in two separate meals. So when I get this, I'll eat it in two separate meals. This is Singapore rice noodle. I'll show you guys like a close up, but does this not come with a fork? Um, why are there two industrial sized fans pointed at her in this room? I mean, so her showing us the contents of her takeout bag with two gigantic fans pointed at her. <laughs> oh my God. I went to a middle school that didn't have air conditioning and in some of the warmer months, uh, I had this algebra teacher. I hated him in seventh grade. I hated this guy and he hated me. And there was one fan in his classroom, and it was pointed at him. The whole, the whole class. Everyone else just had to roast. That room looks like such a vibe. Well, I think a lot of the stuff on the walls in this room is Becky's. So anything that might be cool or alternative that you're seeing, this was not of Amberlynn's doing. I think the only thing that is of her doing is these giant fans. My high school barely has air conditioning. It's just crazy. You know what's the crazy thing about me? is like college dorms not having air conditioning. Like you're paying out the ass to be there and you don't even get air. I mean, I went to school in Arizona, so it would be like criminal if they didn't have air conditioning there. But that's just so crazy to me. I mean, don't you don't you don't prisons have air conditioning, you know? I just, I don't know. No air conditioning in 2024. Air isn't free, Jordy. I guess not. <sighs> to make the smell go away. Well, fans wouldn't get the smell to go away. It would just blow it around. So if anything, she should probably get an air purifier. Most prisons still don't have air conditioning. Really? I didn't know that. I thought that they did. I thought it would have been like a law. It would have been like inhumane or whatever. I feel like he's ignoring Twitch. I'm not ignoring Twitch. No, the answer is no. I do not have a P.O. box. Ugh. Yeah, like, you're going to a school as elite as the University of Virginia and you don't get air conditioning. <laughs> uh, okay. No, it did not. So I wanted to show you guys up close what it looks like. So then um, he explained that, like, Mukbangs shouldn't be done by people on a weight loss journey.
because um, that's the only things that the viewers see. That makes sense and all, but my whole thing is like, this is, first of all, this is my life. I'm an adult. I can choose what I want to do versus what I don't want to do. And like another big thing is like, just because you are seeing one meal out of the what 15 I have in a week, how is that going to decipher everything? Do you get what I'm saying? We went to a buffet. Decipher. Daddy alert. Dab. Okay. No, that was stupid. Okay, but anyways. We in bed. And I was like, I ain't got this. I left my water bottle in the car with like this much water left. Like to get to my goal for that day, this much water. That's it. I could have. Addiction for food is all in one. Comfort at the highest level. Wow. Look how young she looks here, oh my gosh. Look at the ball chin. I have the ball chin too. Like where your chin splits like this and it looks like testicles. I have this too. You can't see it because of the facial hair, but I have it. Did a dog just bark somewhere or was that in my house? I think that the video made that noise. I heard it too. butt chin oh yeah yeah not not ball chin butt chin that's what they're called yeah 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 okay cleft chin i've always called it a butt chin because it kind of looks it does it looks like two butt cheeks you know i have it too but you know thankfully i can cover it up there's a reason why they say facial hair for men is like makeup you know i'm i'm, I'm hiding all sorts of things under this things that y'all wouldn't even think jordy we can hear your fan oh i know my fan's so loud. Honestly, you know what I should do? You know what I should do for summer? Um, you know how I'm always bitching about how hot it gets in my room? Maybe I should get two industrial-sized fans and point them at me. What do you think? Hmm? Huh? You know? Maybe I should get gigantic fans and point them at me. Because the ceiling fan makes noise. Why not three fans? I want to get a fan that is silent, you know, so that you guys, like, you guys probably hear this right now. I want to get one that's silent, you know, like, like a bladeless fan that doesn't make noise. That'd be cool. Hiding more tax write-offs. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. And then if I buy the fan, that could be a tax write-off because I'm using it during live streaming. Huh. We're getting ahead, y'all. We are getting ahead. Um, Carissa Marshall. Hey there. Thank you so much for the super chat. My cat Ellie is watching you in the chat moving. Hello, Ellie. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, Carissa. Give Ellie a cat head scratch for me. Cat head scratch. That would just be a head scratch. It doesn't have to be a cat head scratch. A fancy Dyson fan. Aren't Dysons like the, like the, 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 I don't know, like rich bitch fans? Should I get, should I be a rich bitch fan haver? Marigold, thank you so much. Beck not having an exit plan is kind of on brand. Yeah, Becky just kind of broke up with her and then didn't really know what to do and then kind of fell to pieces but it seems like she's doing well now so hey can't have a rainbow without a little rain ellie got her head scratch i love that <laughs> a 500 hundred dollar dyson are they really that much oh i wasn't thinking that much dyson fan oh well hey look at no look at this one this one's two, 280, 329. Is it going to make noise though? That's the big thing. Because I, if I'm going to have a, if I'm going to have a fan pointed at me, 
I don't want you guys to have to hear it. So this purchase is more for you than it is for me. You see how thoughtful I am? Do you see how good of a streamer I am? I'm thinking of you all. I'm putting your needs before my own. I'm so nice. Ugh. $2.99. Okay. 500 to 800 Whoever said that? Look, these aren't 500 to 800 They're more. I mean, there's one that's 550 But most of them are two to 400 Which is still a lot for a fan, but not nearly as much as five to 800 They last so long. My boyfriend has a Dyson and you can still hear it. It's definitely better, but not silent. Hmm. Okay. All right. My friend has one and it makes very little noise. Okay. Jordy, look up their new robot vacuum. A robot vacuum. Jordy's being vulnerable for us. Uh, this is vulnerability. I know. What is my Zodiac? Virgo. The fan noise is soothing. Silence is creepy. Huh. All right. Well, we'll, we'll put a we'll put a bookmark in this. Maybe we'll do a Dyson. Who knows? I don't want to. Uh, this, this scene looks boring. Don't judge me. Like we all wear pajamas. I happen to be wearing mine on video right now. So first it was a whale, and then it was a dog running, and then a dog laying down, and now it just looks like nothing. Like, do you guys ever look at clouds like that? I know it's like so random. That's weird. Are you guys ready? We have orange chicken. I am so just, I'm kind of in amazement with how good it smells. You can tell that the orange zest is completely from the earth. So I'm just gonna dive right in. I do use my fingers. And like I said, you have to eat it really fast. It's happening. Mm. You don't want no one stealing it from you. But let's go. wash my hair. I know a lot of you are like, why do you always wear your hair up? Do you not wash your hair? I do. I just don't brush it. I think she thinks I'm her mother. Sorry for my hair. I haven't, like, done anything with it. Like, at all. Like, this is how I woke up, girl. Not cute. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh my god. So this is where Gracie went. Oh! Gracie was in aisle G14 of Walmart all along. Oh, wow. Hi, Vera. September. The ghost of Gracie. <laughs> oh, my God. Destiny looked like that without the mask. It's 31st. I cannot believe tomorrow's September 1st. For me, that means fall has begun, even though fall really doesn't start until like towards the end of September. -ish. Let's read because I haven't read in like forever and now I'm rambling. Okay. Catch you later. Alligator. After a while. Crocodile. I scared me. I'm ready. Uh, cat ears rose cat ears on fleek so i'm ready so whoa a laundromat episode i don't remember this oh my god her with the comforter using it as a robe <sighs> that's kind of spooky It's 2.02 a.m. so 
That's light. <laughs> what? It is literally flooding. Let's go. <laughs> She's like, period. <laughs> Yeah, Destiny got this cake at Walmart for $60, and I'm like, slay. <laughs> I got this one from the good old... Let me take a look at that again. I mean, and this is like seven, eight years ago. Wow. $60 for a cake? Like seven years ago? This does not look like a $60 cake. Oh my god. That cake I got, the Alicia, the Alicia cake that I got, like, what was that, like two weeks ago now? That one was 27 And that was like an ice cream cake. $60. I feel like she's lying. Yeah, no, she, she, I feel like she's lying about this just to make it look better than it actually is. Because it says happy birthday Amber Lynn on it. So she's making it seem like Destiny spent a lot of money on it. There's no way this was 60 Custom cakes are pricey. Well, the only thing custom about it is the fact that they wrote Amber Lynn on it. I mean, my custom cake that said "But First Coffee" on it was only twenty-seven. I mean, it wasn't as big as this, but it was an ice cream cake. I highly doubt that this is an ice cream cake. It's from Walmart too. I thought it saved money, live better. Destiny got this cake at Walmart for sixty dollars, and I'm like, slay. <laughs> I got this one from the good old. Tarjay. Black pants on point. Shoes. I know I'm going to get them. <laughs> bam, 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 bam. Oh no. The cucumber bacon boats. Oh god. This was a wild scene. These cucumber bacon boats. Oh my god. This is filling too. Don't, don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Okay. <laughs> Please do not judge me. I just saw this at Walmart for so cheap, like a little over $3. And I really like to color, so I thought I would like this. And I like fashion and jewelry and stuff. I know this is for a child. I get that. You don't have to point that out anywhere. Um, but yeah, this is what I've been wearing all day. I was like, mm, I'm gonna wear this, but now I'm like, mm, I'm not. So quick outfit change. <laughs> <laughs> Quick outfit change. Um, I do need to choose earrings though, of course. Put on what the? Oh, wait, why did signs down? Fire hazard. Happy birthday to you. Oh, that's Happy so birthday yes. to you. Happy birthday! Oh. Oh, wait a second. I may have prejudged this cake. It moves and makes noise, too. Oh. Hey, dear Amberlynn. <laughs> Happy birthday to you and me and me. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. Do I have to blow it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Do I have to blow out the candle? Oh my god. Do I have to blow it? Oh my god. That's an Amazon candle. Okay, so if we're taking her for what she said, she spent $60 on the cake, and then that candle was an accessory. So she spent $76 on a cake. Oh. <laughs> 
Oh my god. Come on! Is it reusable? I don't know. She says it's reusable. I just like so. it. Oh. <laughs> I didn't do a wish, but you know. That's so impressive. <laughs> but you know. Happy birthday! Uh, this much water. Sorry. Yeah, it looks like Diff a big cherry. <laughs> big? Big? Uh, Are you calling me big? No. Yay. I've gotten to use all my stickers tonight. Look at this. Yay. Big. Big. Are you calling me big? Why would you think to look at me and say you look big? Big. Big. Talk about me. Everybody's like, oh. But she said she wanted to go eat somewhere and I was like, sushi girl, sushi, because Thanks. Cause Destiny never takes me to sushi. I don't like it. I tried it and I don't like it. Meh. I tried the simplest thing, a damn cucumber roll. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we're gonna do this is not homemade. So But it is good. Okay. Let's try it. I usually have to do this little like mixy deal. I do it with any type of anything. What? No. Something tastes like Sprite. I don't know. I just don't think this is like right for me. I don't want to do it. I want to go home. Like I can't take the pressure of it. But don't you think any job interview? A lot of people are complimenting these and then people will like look at me and be like meow 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 it's actually quite funny it was complimented over 30 times i'm not kidding just like about my jewelry or my makeup or how beautiful i looked or my outfit like it was so sweet and the first compliment i got was from actually my co-worker her name is is she drunk she's kind of giving buzzball lynn right here Everybody was telling me how good my jewelry and makeup looked. I was the hottest bitch at that party. Must be. She was iconic. I know. If only she still had the balls to be vulnerable. Oh, we could still have this Amber Lynn back. But it's all those nasty, rude haters out there that make her not want to share things. It's all your fault. Basically. It's all that trash. Mm hmm. Imagine being Destiny's new woman and seeing these old clips of her and Amber. <sighs> Destiny's new. Uh, what's her name? Mercedes? Chris. No. God, what is, what is. What's Destiny's wife's name? Lexus. Lexus. Right? It's it's some type of car. It's either Lexus or Mercedes. I can't remember. Lexus. Yeah, it's, it's Lexus. Lexus seemed chill, so I highly doubt she cares. Someone is always hitting on her, and she makes a point to let us know. Oh, I know. The one time she went to the casino, people were trying to get her number. Oh, and then she was in she was in the grocery store that one time, and someone tried to get her number. Yeah. Um, PK two hundred X. Thank you so much for the bits. Zinka Cat, thank you so much for resubscribing with Prime. Welcome back for another month, Zinka Cat. Hope your week's going well. Someone's name is Lexus. Well, I think her name is Alexis, but she just goes by Lexus. I think. Inchella, I told her like, I don't know, what was it? Literally three months ago that I was Portuguese. And she looked at me like I was crazy. And it's almost like she didn't believe me, but I am. If you guys didn't know, I am Portuguese. I thought of is writing. I don't really know. If Wait, she's Portuguese. <laughs> Amberlynn's Portuguese. Do y'all know that? Talent, but um, when I really sit down and want to write something, I uh, I can even admit this. I am a fantastic writer. Um, I it's not like I'm being like conceited or anything. It's just. 
that one passion of mine and I know that I'm good at it and I'm in love with writing and um, every person who's ever read my true writing has been absolutely floored in a way because when I, um, <clears throat> it's not that I am stupid, but I'm not the smartest. Wanting to be free from such an addiction to me, free like a bird, maybe a pigeon. Words that I get. So, um, definitely that. I also really, really want to be a writer. I really enjoy writing and I am blessed with the ability to do so. So, what's a beautiful girl doing like you alone right now? Excuse me? I'm the, I'm not um. The FBI ended up seeing it Like Frank was like Oh my god like complimenting me On my following and stuff But guess what Telling her best friend And um, Like how I explained it was like I'm eating with people who like Don't want to eat alone like that's honestly how I feel And so that's how I explained it To my girlfriend's mom Oh, I had such good commentary. No, no. I almost don't want to say it over again. All right, well, I'll say it over again. Wait, here, you know what? We don't do it. We'll go back. We'll listen to it again. And then I'll just like, I'll do another one. Like, I'm eating with people who like don't want to eat alone. Like, that's honestly how I feel. Ah, oh, she's such a martyr. Ah, oh, she's such a hero. There would be so many lost, poor, unfortunate souls out there that would otherwise have to eat alone if it weren't for Amber Lynn filming herself eat pizza that she doesn't want to be eating in the first place and upload it to YouTube. Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> uh. Period. You said what you said. I did. I did. And so that's how I explained it to my girlfriend's mom. So then my girlfriend's mom explained it to her best friend, and her best friend started crying. So today at work's gonna be really hard for me. A resident that I absolutely love with every part of me moved today, this morning. This resident had really bad Alzheimer's, and I was the only person she remembered, and every day she just brought the biggest. I love when Alzheimer's is selective, you know? Well, I was her favorite, so the Alzheimer's didn't apply to me. She remembered me. Everybody else? No. Her own daughter? No. Her husband? Who's that? But me? She remembered me. She looks damp. Damp. Nicole Garrett, thank you so much for that. Thank you, thank you. Uh, hey, Jordy, I don't mean to be rude, but she is a big girl, so why doesn't she get gastric bypass? Has she ever talked about it? And here's some help for your Dyson. Love you. You're the best. Oh, thank you, Nicole. Um, she, last year actually, teased for months that she was going to be getting weight loss surgery. Um, she ended up not going through with it because she felt that she didn't have the support system required to help her get through it. Like the recovery process after weight loss surgery, she didn't think that she would have other people nearby to rely on. So she didn't feel comfortable getting it. Um, it's something that she's talked about for many years on here. She's always coming up with a different excuse as to what, uh, you know, oh, it doesn't always work for everybody. Oh, some people regret it. Oh, it's too much money. I mean, there's always a reason. There's always a reason. But yeah, this time last year, she was really neck deep in all of the commentary with uh, getting surgery. But it comes and goes. I wouldn't be surprised if in the next year or two she starts talking about getting weight loss surgery again. But, you know. 
Not today. Not today. It was all a lie. It was all a lie. I think that that outpatient program was all a lie, too. Just something to talk about. Hmm. Well, y'all, I think that that is going to be it for this evening. More than likely, we will be back tomorrow to do something, maybe a foodie beauty stream, depending on if she uploads or not. Um, but Saturday, I don't think that we're going to be doing a live stream because I do have that concert. Remember, I had I had said that a while back. I said that the 13th, I had that concert. So we're not going to be doing anything Saturday, but likely we'll be doing one tomorrow. So I will see y'all tomorrow. Hope everybody has a good rest of their work week. Yes, you know it, Eileen. You know it. I think inpatient is the only way. I mean, if she doesn't want to do Ozempic, yeah. Uh, all right, y'all. Well, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for all the bit senders. Appreciate that, PK. Thank you for all the super chatters, all the subscription renewers. Anyone who benefited me financially in the past two hours, I really appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, all right, y'all. I will see you very 